Factor common factors and grouping. Find a GCF. GCF stands for greatest common factor. And when we're dealing with polynomials, our greatest common factor is going to be the largest factor that divides into each term. So remember that a term is a cluster of numbers and variables all multiplied together. So when we look at a term and we're trying to see what it divides by, it's pretty easy to see what numbers can go into it, but sometimes it's a little bit harder to immediately see what a common factor for the variables is. So for the variables, we're going to use this rule that on variables we use the lowest exponent. So let's go ahead and take a look at a couple of examples. Our first example says find the common factor in 15a to the fourth plus 10a squared. So we want to start out here by looking at our numbers. We've got 15 and 10. So I can see that both of these numbers are divisible by 5, and there's nothing bigger that can go into both of them. So our GCF for the numbers part of this is going to be 5. And now let's take a look at the variables. Here we've got a to the fourth, and here we've got a to the second, or a squared. So we want to use our rule that on the variables we use the lowest exponent. So it looks to me like our lowest exponent here is going to be the 2, because 2 is less than 4. So then we just end up with a squared. So that means that our common factor in this problem is going to be 5a squared. It can divide into both of these terms. So let's go on to example 2. Example 2 says find the common factor in 4a to the 4th, b to the 7th, minus 12b to the second, b, a to the second, b to the sixth, plus 20a, b to the ninth. So again, let's start here by looking at our coefficients, or the numbers out in front. So it looks to me like in this case, these are all multiples of 4. And there's nothing bigger that can divide into each of these. So 4 is going to be the number in our GCF. So now let's go ahead and take a look at our variables. Now this is a little bit trickier because we have two different kinds of variables here. So I'm going to go ahead and look at my A's first and then we'll go on to the B's. So when we say on variables we use the lowest exponent, we're really looking for the matching variables and the lowest exponent that goes with that variable. So we know that we're going to have an a, and the lowest exponent here is actually a 1. Remember that if there is no exponent, there's an invisible 1 with it. So that 1 is lower than the 2 or the 4, so that's going to be our variable in our GCF. And then last, we're going to look at the b's. So we've got b to the 7th, b to the 6th, and b to the 9th. So again, here it looks like our lowest exponent is going to be the 6. So that means that in our GCF, the b will be raised to the 6th. So now you know that for this expression, the GCF is 4a b to the 6th.